Good morning, guys! I have Mr. Kuba sleeping here. He's sticking his butt out from under the covers for you guys. Am I waking you up? Hello! Oh, my angel! Mwah. He was just cuddling up with me. He was like fully under the covers at first and then as he gets hot he like pushes his butt out a little bit to get a little cool down. Is that what you do? You're the cutest. Now he's just chilling here. This is the first time he's like actually facing my way. You're so adorable. I love you so much. I just spoke to Victoria's Secret because I had two coupons and one of them expired like on August 31st, so I called them on September 1st uh, on September 1st to ask if they could send me a new one. So that one still hasn't come in yet, but I still had another one that's good till the end of November. So I just used that one and I placed an order on Victoria's Secret because I'm checking back like every day to see if they have those onesie long sleeve romper thingies um, for pajamas because I got one last year. Um, though I didn't get it on the website because I was like, eh, I don't know if I'm going to wear it. And then I ended up really wanting it and I paid like double the price on eBay and I fell in love with it. I wore that onesie for like two weeks straight, guys. And so I really want another onesie just in case this one is in the wash when I'm, you know, when it's that time to start wearing the, rom the onesie. I'll probably start wearing it soon because it is getting chilly, but I wanted to get another one and they don't have the long sleeve one yet, but they do have a long sleeve with short bottoms romper instead of long, long both ways. Baby, you're so adorable. I love you so much. Oh. So here is the romper they do have on the website now. I don't know what size I am. The other one I have a small in the, in the long sleeve long bottom one. I have a small, but it's a little big, so I ordered an extra small and a small in both this black white one and this one as well. This one's a little ugly. I don't know. It doesn't look right when it's on the girl. I don't know. I just don't like how this is all light colored down here. So I got the other two. I'm going to obviously return one of them, the one that doesn't fit, whether it's extra small or small. I'm happy that I at least have some kind of rompers back. And I just called them to see what's going on with my $10 angel reward too with the one that they're supposed to mail out. And they said that it's going to be going out on Saturday. So it's been a while since I called and it still hasn't gotten here because it's now October. But that's okay. But I'm so excited that they have the rompers back. Oh my gosh. I had to get two this time before they sell out because last time they sold out so fast that then I had to go hunting on eBay and pay double. But I ended up loving it. So, so, so much. I just had to get two of them. I'm so excited. I spent way too much time editing my vlog, but I'm getting out of bed now. It is 1.26, guys. I almost have to walk my dog. Still haven't eaten breakfast. Right, Kuba? You heard walk and you just came running over. But I think today we're going to have something faster than avocado toast. I might have avocado toast later as like a snack because I have an avocado that I need to use up. But I think right now we're going to make a pumpkin spice bagel with pumpkin cream cheese. And got my bagel. And now I'm also going to make the pumpkin spice Dunkin' Donuts K-Cup because that one's awesome. Hello, coffee. Let's open up the fridge. This is like my little service station right here. Grab some milk. And now some creamer. There you go. There was my little station for you guys. I actually do that all the time and my parents always yell at me saying I'm airing out the refrigerator. So, I mean, it's a bad habit because I am probably cooling everything down that's on that door, but it's just, it's just so easy that way. We're gonna try this bagel now. I'm sure it's gonna taste amazing. Still nice and soft too. Oh, it's good. Yummy! I could have used a little bit more cream cheese though. Could have used more, but it's all good. Sitting here eating my bagel and I just found this very ugly, ugly thingy my bobby on my window. Look, you guys see it right there. Right there! Stink bug! Do not come inside, you stink bug, you. I still haven't found that one in my room. But it's somewhere here, just hiding. Oh, I just got the chills. I get the chills every time I walk in here. I remember when I first moved back here, there was like 
30 stink bugs in my room hiding behind that painting. Was the most grossest thing ever that I took all my work and I went to go do it outside because I couldn't handle being inside with all those stink bugs. And now I'm looking for it. They also like to hide on this black thing. I think I just have to get rid of this for the winter because they like to hide on that and they like to hide behind the TV. Oh my God. I can't even move it. Oh, I got the heebie-jeebies just thinking about these stink bugs in my room. Putting a sign for my parents to not open this window because I see a stink bug on this side and then I also see one already on that side. So, don't, they better not open this window. Yes, baby, is there a toy under there that you're looking for? Oh, there is, it's your ball and you can't get it, boo-boo? Okay. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> he's waiting for it. <laughs> Why are you pushing it back? There you go. <laughs> about to take this guy out for a walk and I open my door to see if it's cold and I see a package out here. I think this is from Rainbow, the shoes I ordered. But guys, I literally got the notification, the shipping notification at 2.51 a.m. this morning, the email. So, if this is the shoes, that's weird, but it says Rainbow on the side. Okay, Google, let's go for a walk. Honestly don't know how this package got here so fast when I just got the shipping notification. Kuba, wait for me. Wait for me, mister. Come back here. Come back here. <laughs> Where'd you go? <laughs> that was supposed to be a cool shot, boo. Okay, let's go. Take number two. <laughs> I got this cool little doggy, poopy doggy baggy holder that attaches to the leash and then it also has a clip to put in the doggy poop. So cool. It's also so much hotter outside than it is in my house. All right, Koopa, we're crossing the street. Let's go. It's so much colder in the house than it is outside. Like, I'm sweating right now. <laughs> come on, baby, come on. <laughs> what? What are you looking for up there? There's nothing here. You want your toy bed? Not your toy bed, your bed. I don't know who put it up there, baby. That's nice, boo. What do you want? What's happening? What's happening, boo? I don't know what you want. <laughs> what do you want? Use some cuddles. Be Superman! <laughs> what? Oh, thanks. Ah. <laughs> oh, Clip, I'm gonna kill my stomach today. Go get it! Ow! <laughs> oh. Ready? Oh, that was so good! I don't, guys, what does howling mean? Like, he's just randomly howling out the window today. I don't know why, don't know what's going on. Is he calling for a girlfriend that he doesn't have? I don't know. I love you. <laughs> yes, I love you too, I love you too, I love you, I love you, I love you. All right, guys, let me open up this package for you. Yes, Kuba, we're gonna open up this package. Are you ready to show them our shoes? Oh, my shoes, not your shoes. You don't like to wear shoes. What? It's not for you. It's not for you, but you want to see what's inside? Look. Look, what is it? What is it? Look at it. You can look. <laughs> Why is he howling? Don't get it. I bought um, the shoes that I have in burgundy, I also got in a tan color. So they're like fall leather now. This is what they look like. Well, they look a little like destroyed-ish. I don't know, is that how they're supposed to look? I think that's how they're supposed to look, but let's try these on. Don't they look super cute, guys? Yes. Same ones in fall black leather. 
We got some tan combat boots. I got some burgundy combat boots, but I did think these were gonna be lighter like the other ones that I got, because these are more purple than in my bag now. You guys see it? So I don't know. I mean, it's a nice contrast. It still looks like it would go together, but I don't know. And then I also got these black ones. Guys, did any of you guys buy the GoPro Hero 5? Because I want to get it, and I don't know. I've never owned a GoPro before. My ex had one before. Um, so I'm like, I kind of know like a little bit about it, but um, I don't know. And then I was thinking of also getting the drone, but do I use my own camera for the drone, or does the drone come with a camera like all other drones do, like the GoPro one? I don't know, but if you any of you guys have ordered it, I know the drone doesn't come out until the 23rd, but maybe you guys pre-ordered it. I don't know how it works, but... Let me know. If you guys have the GoPro 5, let me know how that works. Is it really waterproof? Because I looked at reviews online and no one actually tested the waterproof thing to see how it works because supposedly you don't need a casing for it now. And I mean, that's exciting, but at the same time, super scary. So I don't know. Like none of the reviews really go in depth about the water, about, about it being like waterproof up to 10 meters or something like that. So I don't know. I really want to get one though for next time I go on vacation or whatever, or just like, I don't know, just, just fun stuff. I don't know what Kubo wants from me anymore. I tried playing with him, I tried cuddling him, I gave him more treats, so I don't know. He's just gonna play while I'm watching videos. I got this tennis ball. Kubo, come here. I put it under the blanket right here. <laughs> Where is it? Shukai. Are you getting smart? Are you going under the covers? <laughs> Did you get it? Oh, you got it already! That was fast. Well, there's a stink bug right there in my room. I got it. So I've been sitting here in bed watching a whole bunch of YouTube videos on the GoPro 5 and the GoPro drone called Karma. Um, I don't know if I want to get it or not, like I want a drone, but I'm trying to think of like when would I use it other than vacation. Am I going to use it any other time? I really have no idea, so I don't know if I should get it because I mean I don't even go on vacation that much, so I don't know if it makes sense to get a drone. A GoPro would be useful though because whether you're going even to the beach, whether you just want to go snorkeling or any water activities or even just being in the rain like that if it's waterproof that would be fun. And all the times that I go scuba diving, well I don't really know if I'll be scuba diving anymore like I am scuba dive certified. I have my ad advanced certification for scuba diving but now since I'm no longer with that ex, I don't know anybody that scuba dives. I asked Andre if he would get certified and he said he would um, but I mean when are we going on vacation for him to get certified and you know it costs a lot of money to get certified too so I don't know. I don't really have anyone to dive with anymore. I could always go by myself with like a group of people like and you know obviously a what, what are they called not a professor a dive instructor um i would never go by myself and just like rent the gear i would always go with like a diving company and with their dive instructor and stuff and then it's normally in small groups but i don't know it's just more fun when you're still with somebody that you know I don't know, but I really want a GoPro. I think that would be so much fun. Even just driving and stuff, like you could attach a GoPro to anything. Like snowboarding, I want to go snowboarding, so a GoPro would definitely be useful. I just don't know about the drone part yet. It is now exactly five o'clock. I'm gonna make myself some avocado toast. I'm a little hungry. Some avocado toast with some tomato today. Also just realized we have a lot of avocados. We got one, two, three, four avocados i'm gonna paint my nails and i'm gonna use this nail pop thing for accents these cute little designs and possibly some of these just like it shows like on this picture here i don't really know i don't have a black nail polish so i'm gonna paint whatever is left with this opi nail polish i don't know what this is called but we'll use this because i don't have any black just finished my nails this is how they turned out they're super cute i love them and here's what the other hand looks like this finger is different because this one's like chevron the other one was just stripes yes
So Wheel of Fortune is on now, and Grey's Anatomy is next. Grey's Anatomy has just finished. As always, it was amazing because, I don't know, I love Grey's Anatomy. I think we're gonna go try some pumpkin soup. My dad told me that he made pumpkin soup the other day. He was like, why aren't you eating it? And I was like, well, nobody told me there was pumpkin soup. So we're gonna go try that pumpkin soup. I mean, it's 9.01, but why? I need a late night snack, right? Apparently you add some kale to this pumpkin soup and then some feta cheese after I heat it up. This will be interesting. I used to make pumpkin soup all the time, but I think mine was more on the salty side. It seems to be more on the sweet side. Um, my dad said it's made with coconut milk and cinnamon. Mine was made with nutmeg and chicken stock and other things like that, but we're gonna try this. I mean, the kale is gonna be good. My soup got stuck to the cover. Watch out so it doesn't fall though. Like, what if it falls out? <laughs> What? <laughs> What's happening here? Just lifting up the cover and my soup got That's stuck in there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dad! Soup is stuck. <laughs> Yay! It's free! <laughs> Added some croutons into my soup too. Soup is pretty good, guys. It's different than what I'm used to make, what I'm used to having, because I made it way differently. But it's good though. It actually tastes much better with the croutons too. Adds a little bit of saltiness to it, which is good. All right, guys, changed it to my pajamas. Put a braid in my hair. I don't know if I'm gonna wash it in the morning. I don't feel like washing my hair because I'm just gonna wash it when I get my hair done tomorrow. Because tomorrow's a hair salon appointment day, so I don't feel like washing it because I know they're gonna wash it. But at the same time, I don't want to go in there with the greasy hair, so I don't know. I might have to wash it in the morning, depending on how it looks, so we shall see. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow at my hair appointment. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so already, and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. See you tomorrow. Bye!